Good evening, people, and welcome to day eight, maybe, of 31 Days of Halloween. And today's film, 1987, From a Whisper to a Scream, an anthology film starring Vincent Price. He is the wraparound, the framing, whatever you want to call it, but a reporter comes to see him. He's a historian in this library. Um... She comes to see him because she has covered the death by lethal injection of Vince's Price's niece. Because uh, she killed her husband and she's been covering the story. She comes and then Vincent Price gives her four stories on the history of the town Oldfield. And the first story is a film, is a story, not a film, it's all a film. A story called Stanley, set in contemporary times contemporary times um it's about this guy called stanley played by clue clue Guga or goo kluger very unusual name i don't know who the hell he is but he's a slightly strange guy a slight lonely guy um a bit odd he cares for his sister who's not well and you can tell he doesn't like doing that he tries to date his boss but she she what's the word rebuffs him rebukes him Rebuffed him, we'll go with. So he kills her. He strangles her. He goes to a funeral, to a coffin, and kisses her. What else is he going to do? Well, you find out, because nine months later, what happens in nine months? This weird, creepy, zombie, mutant baby thing is born, and it comes after him. Problem is, you hardly see it. It's in it for like a minute, and it comes at the top of the stairs and goes, Dah. And kind of lunges at him, then it goes off. Not really very good, but that that's the first story. Second story, on the run. This guy is escaping these two brothers. Maybe they're gangsters, part of the mob, debt collectors, whatever they are. He gets shot. He ends up in the swamp and he gets saved by this guy. And one thing leads to another, he, um, he recovers, he's looking through some papers and sees that this guy might have been alive in the 1800s, convinced he's got the, the elixir of life and he wants it. He wants this bottle of juice that will make him live forever. Um, but little does he know that the guy that saved him has given him this drink and then he kills him and chops him up because he's going to live forever. He gets put back together by the doctors and he's in a hospital in a shitload of pain in a hell of a mess knowing he's going to be in pain forever. Not very good again. And the th three, the third story, Lovecraft Travelling Amusement, set in like a travelling carnival, a circus. Um, all the performers are manipulated by a snake woman who uses voodoo to control them. This guy eats glass because of what she does to him. Um, he's in love with this girl. She doesn't like that. They flee. But because he's got a curse on him, everything he's eaten in the past comes out of his body and kills him. She gets hold of this girl and puts her in the circus as the human pincushion. You can see she's going to take all this pain and she can't move, she can't do anything. She's going to take all this pain for the rest of her life. Not very good again. I, I, you can see where this is going. Then number four, it's called Four Soldiers. Um, Civil War soldiers, Union soldiers. Um, they're taken captive by a bunch of children. Disfigured, weird children who you find out are orphans of Confederate soldiers killed by the Union soldiers. Um, and they're avenging their their parents death and they set the guy on fire and this will be the beginning of old field we're going to rebuild it it's that's not very good either but i might have liked that one the most out of all these four um but not a great thing the best thing was in between watching vincent price talk um even though vincent price would later regret taking this film on not that you'd know because he you know professional gave it his all um, but it's not good. The stories aren't that interesting. They're not. 
an anthology film can have too many stories and there's not enough time to develop the stories. Um, maybe this has one story too many. Which story that would be, I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care. Um, not very good. Each story, first story would probably get out of a ten. Maybe a five, second one a five, third one a five. Yeah, they'd all get fives. It's, it's not very good. Whisper from a whisper to a scream. It's not great. Um, but it is what it is. I'll be back tomorrow. Comments are welcome.